So we recently got a dog and it has been quite the adjustment period for not only myself, but for uh, Maggie and the cat. She's been having kind of a hard time, so she, as you can hear her. So we've been having an adjustment period. Also, welcome back. Different day for you. Same shirt, because it's the same day for me. Told you. Told you on Monday. No shame. Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Okay. Okay, so anyone that knows me knows that I love lip products. So we're going to talk about some of my favorites today. Um, but before we get into that, don't forget to click subscribe to know when I make new videos and you can click the notification bell and you can be notified every time that I make a post. So if you want to know how I have narrowed down my favorite lip products, let's go. Okay, so my favorite lip products. I wasn't really sure how I would narrow this, narrow this down, how I would narrow this down, but I feel like I have, I only have like a handful of items here. So first we're going to talk about what I use as lip balm. I don't use like a particular like lip balm. I use Aquaphor. I've always had trouble with like chat lips and issues and my sister calls me a chapstickaholic and I guess I, I, I bought so many of them because I couldn't find one that like really worked for me. But I've been using Aquaphor for a couple of years now and um, it really does a really good job, especially um, during the school day. You know, you talk a lot and it'll wear your lips out. And so I keep one of these in my desk and she's coming in the door now. Oh, she is saying hello. Hello, kitty. What you doing? Hello. Come on. You need my attention? No? Okay. I'm just going to do the rest of this with her sitting here. But this is kind of what I keep in my purse. What I use at home is this big pot. Are you leaving now? You can't sit here. So she's sitting here. It's, this is fine. This is fun. Uh, so that's what I use for lip balm. Now let's talk about some lip scrubs that I have. Um, first of all, I'll talk about one that I've already kind of talked about on my uh, channel. This is the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Scrub that you can get at the drugstore for about $8.99. Smells like cupcakes. Um, it also has like an oil in it, so it helps to really nourish your lips, which I like. And kind of gives your lips, even though you've exfoliated them, a nice kind of glossy look. Um, so I, I really like this and of course, like I said, it smells like cupcakes. But I think my favorite um, is the Perfectly Posh. Uh, it's a direct sale um, thing that's kind of all natural. But um, this is the Tree Hugger uh, Strawberry Brown Sugar Lip Scrub. It smells so good. Um, bye. Uh, it smells really, really good, and it's also really, really finely, like, what? But it's really finely milled, and it just, it does a really good job of exfoliating, and also, you know, hydrating, too. It kind of, now it's not going to leave your lips glossy, but it's going to leave your lips feeling good and hydrated. And my favorite out of these is probably the Tree Hugger one from Perfect. Now, we're going to get into some lipsticks. I, it took me a while to be comfortable with lipsticks, and a lot of times I don't wear lipstick. I'll just put on some Aquaphor and just go with my natural lip color, because I, I do have some color to my lips, um, whether I use a lipstick or not. Um, so a lot of times I'll just use the Aquaphor because it'll kind of give me kind of a glossy satiny finish and roll out the door. But um, sometimes I do want some color. So you will find probably that in these, they're probably all towards the same color. Now I'm going to be venturing out some and getting some of like, oh no, I want to try the Infallible Paints by L'Oreal. There, I mean, there are some liquid lipsticks, some mattes and stuff that I want to try. Um, and I will give them a shot, but this is just kind of some stuff that I already had. Remember, I'm on a teacher budget, so I don't have a lot of money to just go out and buy makeup all the time. So, you know, I'm kind of pulling from what I've got at home. And so here are some of my favorites. 
This is the Burt's Bees lipstick. Um, I love this stuff. It's very hydrating. This, and I also really love the shape and size. I find this is kind of smaller than other lipsticks, and I find that it's easier to put on um, to get a more precise application. This is in the in the shade Blush Basin, and it's just a really pretty a really pretty satiny pink. I love to wear this in the fall. I mean, I'll even wear it now in the summer, but it's just such a good, a good color. And it's also very hydrating. It doesn't dry out my lips. And I also really love the packaging. This is really lightweight. You can kind of see, I mean, this is basically the color. Where am I going? This is basically the color of the lipstick. Um, but I really, really like the way that it looks and the, the packaging and the way that it feels on my lips. Next up is the Maybelline. This is my favorite pink, and I like that it's kind of a nudie pink, and it's kind of satiny, and just kind of has a really cool finish. This is Born With It. It's just the regular Maybelline lipstick. Um, I'm gonna swatch it right here. Right there. I really, really like that a lot. It looks so nice, and it looks really nice on my lips, just to give it a little bit of a little kick. I also really like this packaging, too. I love their packaging. And um, I also like that it doesn't dry my lips out. And sometimes lipstick can make my lips really dry and uncomfortable. And I think that's for everybody. Now we're going to get into kind of my higher end luxury. I wouldn't know. I don't know that these are luxury. They are to me. They are to my teacher wallet. Um, this is the shade that I have on my lips now. This is St. Peaky Nude. Pinky. Peaky, think peaky, St. Peaky Nude by Lipstick Queen. And it is just a really nice pinky nude. As it says, I'm gonna swatch it down here, right there. And I just really love the way that it wears. Um, it's Lipstick Queen lipsticks feel so good and they're so creamy and I'm gonna use that adjective I feel like I overused, but they are very buttery. They feel so good on your lips and they just go on so smoothly. They go on so precise. Like, you can use a lip liner today. I didn't, and I feel like my lips look fine. So, that is the St. Peaky Nude. And the last one is the Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Lipstick. This will always keep a special place in my heart because this is the lipstick that I wore on my wedding day. Um, but I really like, this is the color changing lipstick. It, it starts green, turns into a, well, I said it would. It's not wanting to change, or it's not wanting to show up. It shows up a little bit better on my lips. There it goes. But it changes kind of with your body chemistry to turn to like a pink, like your like a. It says like your perfect pink. It's watching a little better right there. I also like that it kind of leaves a stain. On your lip, that's one thing that I liked about on my wedding day. I didn't feel like I was spending my wedding day reapplying lipstick. I was actually able to enjoy my wedding day instead of worrying about my makeup. So, so those are my favorite lip products. Uh, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you like some of these products, be sure to comment below on which one is your favorite. Look at my awesome baseball tan. Yeah, still a little bit burned from the baseball game. Anyway. Squirrel. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave to see more of my videos whenever I post them. And hopefully I will see you in my next one and I'll have on a different shirt. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys.